The HTC Desire HD, a really interesting phone, similar to the Desire, um, but it just feels more luxurious. I mean, that sort of screen estate on the front there, it's enormous, super LCD screen, they call it, and it really is super. How thin is this thing as well? And the color, the form factor, it's so thin, it's so elegant. Interestingly though, because it's got a smooth aluminium body, which could potentially cause problems with slippages out of the hand or slipping out of your pocket and so on, they've got this sort of ruggedized material here and there, which make it really safe in the hand. But it's not these features that are most exciting about this handset. What defines this phone from the previous desire is that thing there, a camera capable of 720p HD. So let's put it to the test. Um, I mean, just this, just holding it in my hand. Hopefully that 720p is doing me justice. No, I think it's nice. I mean, even the form factor of the phone, you know, is important in terms of filming stuff. Right now I'm riding a bicycle. I'm not doing anything extreme, but you know, I'm riding a bike, but I'm, I'm able to hold the phone really easily because of its sort of blade-like quality. And the sort of ruggedized rub around the outside makes it really secure in the hand. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, that's it. I didn't do anything too funky fresh on my bike, but there you go. I'm an old man. What do you expect? Oh, ah! Okay, I just thought I'd come inside to review the footage. You know, just holding a phone like this reliably can be quite tricky because it's like a bar of soap. The interesting thing about this phone... You um, can see, you can the, hear it, you know, the design and you can the, see the clarity. Uh, you can see the fact that I should have cleaned my glasses before I did that. It feels really easy and secure in the hand. And there's also some, some sort of rugged... Yeah, the microphone works really well. So, you know, all in all, um, the HTC Desire HD is the HTC handset that so many people have been waiting for for such a long time. And of course, coupled with Android 2.2, it's a nice little package.